heard of the alternate Suez Canal. Here is the West's dream project, the proposed Ben-Gurion Canal, or the Israeli Canal Project. It is no new revelation. In July 1963, U.S. Department of Energy and the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory created a classified document that outlined a plan to use 520 buried nuclear explosions to help in the excavation process through the hills in the Negev Desert. The project would connect the Gulf of Aqaba to the Mediterranean Sea. David Ben-Gurion, after whom it would be named, is considered the founding father of Israel and was the first prime minister Israel. The canal would rival the Suez Canal that runs through Egypt, which has had many disturbances in its history. It would be almost one-third longer than the Suez Canal 194 km, meaning almost 300 km. The cost of creating the Israeli Canal is estimated to be between 16 and $55 billion. The proposed canal starts from the southern end, at the Gulf of Aqaba, by the port city of Eilat in Israel on the Israeli and Jordanian border, through the Araba Valley for about 100 km between the Negev Mountains and the Jordanian Highlands, and veers west before the Dead Sea Basin, which is 1412 ft below sea level, and heads through a valley in the Negev Mountain Range, then heads north again to get around the Gaza Strip and link up with the Mediterranean Sea. The Israeli Ben-Gurion Canal would represent more than just an artificial infrastructural marvel, but would be a major shift in global maritime trade dynamics, significantly broader than the Suez Canal. Its design intends to usher in a new age of maritime efficiency, accommodating an increased volume of ships, because it would be built on hardier terrain than the sand in the Suez. The canal will permit a two-way traffic, allowing vessels to transit in both directions concurrently. This project isn't just a logistical enhancement. It is to be a profound assertion of Israel's intention to become the fulcrum of global maritime commerce. It would directly be contesting the Suez Canal's long-standing dominance. The stage is set for Western powers to wrestle financial and geopolitical control from Egypt. The Suez Canal set a new record with annual revenue of $1.94 billion in for the fiscal that ended June 30, 2023. This shift isn't merely about diversifying revenue streams. It's an overt strategy to reorient the balance of power as well. Israel aims to push Egypt further into a corner by eliminating Suez in the global trade and energy corridor and becoming a global trade and energy logistics center will shake the strategic energy balance of China's belt and road project initiative in the Mediterranean, along with the Strait of Hormuz, which is the transfer point of 30% of the world's energy. The Ben-Gurion Canal would have the solid backing of the West. And surprisingly, Gaza is right in the middle of its planned route. In your opinion, will this project succeed? Is there any information we did not mention? Share your opinion with us in the comments. And here we come to the end of the video. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel.